Okay, let's take a look in this video number 22 at an interesting problem. This is a, a problem that crosses octets, and this can be troublesome to some people at the beginning. So let's just take a look at the problem and see what happens. You'll see some interesting things occur. We're going to begin with the network 10.0.0.0 slash 8, and we want to break it up into 2,000 subnets. Now, we're not going to do all 2,000 subnets, obviously. But we'll do a few here, and I'll jump ahead to, to kind of finish it up. But we want the largest possible number of hosts per subnet. All right, well... Again, we know that slash 8 means, what, 255.0.0.0, like that. If we looked at that in binary, it would look something like this. Eight ones, followed by eight zeros, eight zeros, and eight more zeros. We know from this that we're going to be working in the second octet. Obviously, the first octet is full of ones here, so that's all network bits. And if I'm going to use contiguous ones in my subnet mask, which is required in a sub subnet mask, subnet mask must be contiguous ones, I have to begin here in the second octet with the first value in the second octet. Well, this represents these eight bits in the second octet. So I'm going to begin here at this position, right? So let's take a look here then and see what we need to get 2,000 subnets. And here's where it gets hairy already. If I borrow one, if I borrow one here, so if I were here, I could get two subnets. If I borrowed from here, I could get four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048. Aha! 20, 2048. I can get 2000 subnets if I use this column right here. So let's go ahead and mark that one so that we can remember what we're doing here. And again, just to maintain uh, what I've been doing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put our arrows here just to remind us where we're going to cross-reference this thing like that. So we're going to work in the third octet, not the second octet. Well, what in the world is that about? Well, let's look at it and see what happens if we do this. Uh, I'll just put maybe five, oops, not 44 there. I hit the number twice. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me how I did that. Five, maybe five of these, and then we're going to uh, leave some. We're going to skip down uh, later on. So let's take a look and see uh, where we are once if we do this. I'm going to begin with my beginning network 10.0.0.0 and I need to look at the increments. All right, let's see what we are dealing with with increments. Well, increments are 32 and again, you know that these increments also apply to these as well. So we're in the third octet. I'm going to increment by 32 in the third octet. Everything I do here at this point is going to deal with the third octet. All right, so the third octet, if I increment 32 in the third octet, it would look like this, 10.0.32.0. Well, now wait a minute. Didn't we say we were going, we had to use the second octet? Well, yes, we did, and you'll see that we do use the second octet but in order to get the correct increments in order to get the correct number of subnets we have to uh, start here in this third octet and you can see that the chart just told us that I didn't have to figure it out I just looked at the chart did my counting and said aha this is my interesting spot on my chart here so let's do the next one which is 10.0.64.0 again I'm incrementing by 32 in the third octet 10.0.96 I believe it is dot zero so I went another 32 in the third octet notice again I'm not 
doubling here. I'm adding 32 each time. After 96 would be what? 128, 10.0.128.0. Oh, that one's bold for some reason. That's because I was using this in an earlier, the same chart in an earlier video. Okay, I'm going to skip here, but I'm going to put one more. Um, at, well, let's not put one more yet. Here's what's going to happen. We can see that in or, before I get 2,000 subnets, before I get 2,000 numbers here, I'm going to be jumping past the, as, as far as I can go. In fact, I did a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet here to show what would happen. 0, 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, 224. Uh-oh. When I get to this one, I can't. I, that's an illegal address. Right? I can only go up to 255. So I can go up as far as 8 here. And then something is funky is going to have to happen in the ninth one. So let's go up to 8. I'm going to go ahead and go up to 8 here. And I'm going to skip this because I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, but I know that 8, if I go back here, 8 would be a 224 there. So let's put our 224. 10.0.224.0. This, if I carry this through 6 and then 7, uh, this one would end up at 224. Well, what would the next one be? I can't put a 256 here. And as you can see, 256 is the next number. Well, I can't put a 256. So, for the ninth one, I have to jump over here now to the second octet and make that go from 0 to 1. So that would be 10.1.0.0. This third octet became 256. Well, just like our wheel on our odometer, after 255, it goes back to zero. And then the next one increments by one. So this is just our odometer problem all over again that we started out with in the very first three or four videos. So 255 is as high as it can go. After 255, it rolls over to zero and trips the next wheel in our odometer. And that's exactly what we did here. And then the next one after that would be 10.1.32.0. We're starting this third octet uh, all over again. So we really still are incrementing this third octet by 32s. But eventually it's going to start spilling over into the second octet. That's our tenth one. So now at this point, let's just, uh, I'm going to put this one in for bookkeeping purposes because I will need this to do our broadcast address. So after 128 would be what? 160, 10.0, 160.0. Now this one here is just for counting purposes. And this one, 10.1.64.0. Uh, Again, that's just for accounting purposes. We'll just put that in there. All right, let's uh, finish this up now. Let's go to our first address, and I will just put the ones in here because this is 0 0.1, 32.1, and so forth. 0 0.1, uh, 32.1, 64.1, 96.1, 128.1. I don't need that one. 2, 24.1. What's this one? 1.0.1, 1 1.32.1, 1 and 1.64.1. And if this confuses you, I could actually go back here and I could put the, the zero in here because remember, these are all the oops, these are all the host bits. And so um, so I don't confuse you here. I will go ahead and put the zero dot in here to represent the entire host. If I were doing this on my own, uh, I would not do that until I got down to here, but you know, I would understand what it means. So just for your purposes, I'll put it there. And now I can do my broadcast addresses. I don't need this, this one, do I? Um, my broadcast addresses. Well, what's right before 64.0? How about 63.255? 
that's all I needed this for, just to get that. This is uh, 31 .255, 10 .1 .31, uh 31 31.255. What's this one? What's before 00? zero? Well, 0.255.255. 0 10.0.255.255. Again, I just decrement that and decrement this wheel. It goes back to the 255 slot on the wheel, if, I, if this were an odometer. All right, let's do this one up here. 160.0 would be 159.255. I should, I probably just, for bookkeeping here for you, 10.0.159.255. Uh, I'll put this in full 10 dot zero dot and I need one right before 128 so it'd be 127.255 for 96 10 dot zero dot 95 dot 255 before 65 would be uh, 64 I mean would be 63 10 dot zero dot 63 dot 255 and then before 32 would be 31, 10.0.31.255. And then I can put my last addresses in there. Now I can get rid of this one, by the way. So let's just go ahead and, and I take that row out. I can put my last addresses in here. Uh, 10.0.31.254. And it's going to be the same thing here all the way down, 63.254. 0 0 0.63.254, 95.254, 10.0.127.254, 10.0.157.254, 10.0.259.254, 10.0.254. 254.250, no, excuse me, 255.254, and then uh, I've skipped, remember I've skipped here a little bit, so so that I could uh, show this transition, but 10.1.31.254, and then 10.1.63.254. I've got everything here except the subnet mask, and the subnet mask, I'll just read right from here, it is slash 19, slash 19, whoops, 19, my fingers don't work right sometimes, or I can put the, uh, that's the CIDR notation, or I could put the subnet mask again, and the subnet mask is right here, it's going to be 224, but in the third octet. 224, so it's 255.255.224.0. 255.255.224.0. 255.255.224.0. .0. And the same thing for all of these. These are all going to be identical. I'll just put the 19s in here for faster writing purposes. And there you have it. So this one threw us off a little bit because although we're dealing with the second octet, this is where we have to start adding these things. Well, we filled them all up, right? We added we had added a contiguous one and then another contiguous one, another contiguous one until we filled this up. But then we had to keep going. We had to go here into this one and then into this one and then this one. So these, oops, I, uh, I hate when it does that, it tries to select for you. So let's just put what we have here. We added contiguous ones all right, but we filled this one up and had to keep going in order to get enough of these, uh, enough subnets here. So we spilled all the way over here into the third octet, so our subnet masks now all show up in the third octet, not the second octet. 19 or 220, uh, 255, 255, 224 in the third octet. So it kind of threw us off. We are dealing with the second octet as far as this thing goes, as far as where we started counting. 
but our subnet mask ended up being here in the third octet, as well as the increments uh, dealing with uh, the third octet. All right, I hope that helped because that's kind of a tricky, uh, tricky problem. And uh, so uh, there'll be about a week's break before I have more videos up, and then we'll see you with some more next week.